Our first case of high yield pulmonary cases is this one right here. And it's a case of a usual interstitial pneumonia or a UIP. This is one of the important high yield cases you should know in medical lung pathology. And so the first thing I want you to notice is that low power, the lung is very abnormal. We only have a small area here where you can see some normal uninvolved lung parenchyma. And in fact, the majority of the lung is this dense fibrosis with areas of architectural change. The second thing I want you to notice is the distribution of disease. So I've oriented this wedge biopsy with the pleural surface up here. And you can see the worst areas of fibrosis are actually just underneath the pleura. And as we get away from the pleura, we have a bit of normal uninvolved lung. So we would call this distribution a subpleural distribution. The next thing I want you to notice is that, as I pointed out, this is a patchy process where we have these diffusely abnormal areas with fibrosis and architectural distortion, and these relatively normal areas where, with uninvolved lung. Let's just zoom into a little bit higher power here on the normal lung so we can use this for comparison. And so when we zoom down here, we see architecturally normal lung. You have these nice thin alveolar septa that are lined by pneumocytes and have thin capillaries running through them. And this is a site where efficient gas exchange happens. However, if we look at these other areas, we see dense fibrosis and we've lost the normal alveolar architecture and instead have these cystically dilated spaces that are lined by this metaplastic bronchial type epithelium. You can see here these nice cilia with terminal bars. And so these cystically dilated spaces that stack on top of each other with intervening areas of fibrosis, we would call this microscopic honeycombing. And when this gets to a larger standpoint, this can actually be detected radiologically. And they use this as one of the key features in the diagnosis of usual interstitial pneumonia. As a pathologist, to make the diagnosis of usual interstitial pneumonia, what you really want to see is a patchy heterogeneous process that is both spatially and temporally heterogeneous. So the first concept is spatial heterogeneity. It's really just that if you look down at one area here, it looks very different than other areas where you have uninvolved lung or some active fibrosis. The next idea is a little bit harder to wrap your head around, and that's a concept of temporal heterogeneity. And all that really means is that you have different phases of the process ongoing in a single section. And so the way I like to think of it is the past, present, and the future. The past being these areas of dense fibrosis with these architecturally distorted spaces and microscopic honeycomb change. And the present being these more active areas of fibroblasts that we call fibroblastic foci or fibroblastic focus as a singular. So I'm just zooming into a little bit higher power here and so you can see this nice fibroblastic focus. It's composed of this loose collection of fibroblasts that have a bit more of a gray color to them than the kind of dark pink uh, fibrotic areas you see in the fibrotic lung. And these tend to push into these air spaces here. And so you can see it kind of pushing in there and they can have sometimes metaplastic epithelium overlying them. So there's one fibroblastic focus. There's another fibroblastic focus here. If you zoom up to a little bit low power, you can actually see them as, as we move across. So there's these little bit more gray, kind of loose areas um, in the dense fibrosis. Perfect. And then the future of the temporal heterogeneity is the uninvolved lung. So you can see it here. So these are areas of the lung that have not yet been involved, but are adjacent to areas of architecturally stored in fibrotic lung. So if this process continues, these will become fibrotic. So that's a case of a usual interstitial pneumonia. So let's just review what we've learned today. So usual interstitial pneumonia, or UIP, is a patchy process with a subpleural distribution where you see spatial and temporal heterogeneity. Temporal heterogeneity meaning you can see areas of dense fibrosis with architectural change and microscopic honeycomb juxtaposed with areas of active fibrosis where you have these fibroblastic foci as well as areas of uninvolved lung here. Unfortunately, usual interstitial pneumonia has a poor prognosis and typically affects patients that are male and are around the age of 65 years old. These patients unfortunately do not respond to steroids, but studies have shown that there is a partial response that leads to a new class of antifibrotic drugs. 
And so it's important that we as pathologists make this diagnosis so that patients can be treated as accurately as possible and get the best care possible. Thanks, and if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, or other topics you'd like me to cover, please uh, outline them in the comments or, or reply to the, the, the tweet as well below. Thanks, have a great day.